The taiga biome is a cold and lonely place. Many people have never even heard the name before, even though it's the largest terrestrial biome on the planet. Taiga is a Russian word that means forest. The taiga is the forest in the extreme north, bumping up to the edge of the Arctic Circle. Any further north, and the trees cannot survive. Along this northern edge, the taiga yields to tundra. In the winter, conifers stand as sentinels in a snowy forest cathedral. All is silent, save the wind in the trees and the occasional echo of the gray wolf's howl. As the days grow brighter, the bitter cold of winter eases. Snow melts, trickling into streams that feed roaring rivers lined with gray glacial silt. Migrating birds return to their summer homes, and rivers turn red with spawning salmon. There are really only two seasons here, winter and summer. The summer is only a brief three months in most places, but during this period, the taiga explodes with life. Fire lilies and winter greens paint mountainsides in whites, vibrant blues, reds, pinks, and purples. Emerging from their winter dens, bears enter the sunlight for the first time with their new young. Having not eaten all winter, they're hungry. After they adjust to their life above ground, they bound down to lakes and rivers to feed on a bounty of salmon. Berries weigh heavily on bushes, providing additional forage for bears and birds. Bald eagles glide high above lakes, rivers, and shorelines, searching for fish swimming below. This is a place where plants and animals live in a delicate balance dictated by the seasons. Despite being so cold and remote, humans have had a profound influence here. Early man likely hunted the woolly mammoth and giant sloth to extinction. But modern man has caused more destruction here in the past 400 years than those hunters did in 10,000. Excessive hunting and trapping has brought to the edge of extinction some of the taiga's most majestic animals. And clear cutting has destroyed great swaths of ancient forest. The taiga biome today, despite appearances, is only a glimmer of what it once was. And we'll need to work quickly if we are to save what's left.